Well, on a much happier story, the Renaissance Scholars are a group of 15 boys from the Sydney Granville Boys High School and run by Information and Cultural Exchange. The program is designed to give the students an immersive experience in cultural and scientific institutions that they may not have experienced otherwise. Here to tell us all about it, Granville Boys High School student Afan Asif and Victoria Harbert, project producer from Information and Cultural Exchange. Afan and Victoria, good morning to you both. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having Yes. Um, Victoria, I might start with you. Can you tell us a little about the uh, idea behind this program and what it entails? Uh, the program was designed to introduce the boys to uh, worlds that they may not have experienced before, to uh, support them as they go through school and put some shape to words like university, um, research, observation, uh, creativity, imagination and ideas so to really uh, help them develop their own independent thinking around the world and to um, prepare them to wow us with their incredible futures. And I find you get to visit some pretty great places, can you yeah. tell us some of them? Um, the first place we went to was the St Mary's Cathedral. Mm -hmm. um, at first we were like it's a cathedral but then later on we saw this replica of Michelangelo's um, statue yeah. and like it was like St. Uh, Mary holding Jesus in his arms and I was like I was wonder stuck like how someone could do this with like a hammer and a chisel mm. and then after that we went to um, this v we went to this art studio and we met we met Keg D'Azusa and um, she basically is an artist and she creates education spaces and stuff like that yeah right and then her education space was like movable so like we got to move around and make our ideal education space like like our year, year, year 8 group we sat together and the year 9 sat together and there was like one boy lying down on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I found Victoria mentioned that this um, program is about uh, introducing boys to worlds they might not have ever not only dreamt of but heard of before. What is the most I guess awe-inspiring uh, thing that you've taken away from this? Probably how there are different jobs that people wouldn't think about. It's like you might think, oh, there's a job in the office, there's a job on the site, and then there's a job like you just sit there in your house and then you just be the boss of everyone. Right. But then there's obviously more jobs in that. There's jobs where you can get hands-on but you can still stay in the office or you can sit there but then you can still make your own stuff and then so for me, it just it shows me what I want to do, like when I grow up. And what and what is that? If yeah, we yeah, can just, right, yeah. you know, what have, what have you decided that you've learnt that you thought perhaps before you had one path and now you might have a different path? Um, when, um, a couple of years ago, my parents told me about aeronautical engineer, and I wanted to be that. And then after I saw this, it's just like, well, that's perfect because it does all of this, and I can do more because I know some more information now. Mm -hmm. Is that music to your ears, Victoria? Yeah, Is that yeah. what you're trying to achieve yeah. to open up worlds that might yeah. not have otherwise been dreamt of? Yeah, and I guess um, to encourage boys who are, who are, you know, in their own worlds a lot mm -hmm. to recognise an idea when it crosses through their brains as a as a creative idea. And also, we've been stressing with them the the role creativity plays with astrophysics with medical research, yeah. with electronic music, with all the things we've been looking at. Um, we've been stressing the role of creativity so that they can come up with good ideas for us. What makes a boy eligible for this program and do you expect that this program could be rolled out, not just across the state but across the country? Yeah, um, the boys are already in a, a a lunchtime club called the Renaissance Scholars so we designed our program to work to their club yeah. so we've been looking at um, the how the Renaissance ideas are exist in the contemporary world and and trying to kind of really tease out what made that period so incredible the rebellion we've been looking at protest posters yeah. we've been looking at how to express an idea what you want to tell the world and get it down on a poster which is a bit old-fashioned for these kids but yeah posters <laughs> digital digital <laughs> but it was still good wasn't it yeah, yeah. yeah. i found it a beautiful poster yeah how the other students that aren't in the program how have they responded um you initially it was the lunchtime club and people didn't want to miss out on the lunch but after that after the Thing that we're doing this program they're like 
oh, okay, go ahead, you're just missing out on sport now. <laughs> yeah. And then when they find out what we're doing, they're like, oh, can we come, can we come? And I know like a lot of my friends, they wanna, uh, they've asked Mr. Dixon to like join our club. Yeah, that's, that's wonderful. Isn't it great? Yeah, turning that light switch on to learning and, and making it grow and nurturing that. Well, a lot of them had never yeah. been to art galleries and cultural institutions before too. Amazing, yeah. So, yeah. Okay, right. Victoria and Afan, thank you so much and all thank the best you. with your endeavours going yeah. forward. Thank, thank you, you very much.